Do you want more money? Most Americans do. But for most, the problem is not earning more money. It is keeping the money they have earned. So what are they doing wrong? Well, usually it is the habits that led them down. So here are 25 personal finance tips every retiree should follow. Before I go any further, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number one, start paying better attention to your finances. Many people ignore their spending and just hope that it'll work out. Hope is not a good budgeting strategy. Instead, choose a system that works for you. Whether it is an app, a spreadsheet, or something else, find a system to track your spending and budget. It is amazing what you will discover about your spending when you keep track of every dollar going in and out of the door. Number two, follow your budget. It is one thing to create a budget, but if you don't have the discipline to put it into action, why bother? Number three, you should keep track of your net worth. So your net worth is what is left after you calculate your assets and your debts. Um, an example of an asset should, would be, um, let's say you have a stock portfolio worth of $100,000. That is your asset, right? And your liability would be any debt that you owe. For example, um, student debt or a credit card debt. So you subtract your assets from your liability and that is your net worth so it's important to keep track of your net worth number four set your financial goals and write them down how much do you want to pay off and when you can say you want to make plans all you want but until you do it you're living in a fantasy world so make a plan and take action number five Pay off your debts as quickly as you can. You know, debt can take away your options and your financial freedom. The sooner you can get rid of it, the sooner you can start pursuing your dreams and living life on your own terms. So create a list of each debt, how much it is, and its current interest rate. Once you have your list completed, you can figure out to pay off your debts or drastically reduce them. Number six. Spend less than you earn and start saving the rest. First thing you need to do, you need to start small. Start saving a little bit of money each week. Do you have a bill that needs to be paid? Pay the bill, buy the item, and keep the rest in your account. You don't need a lot. $15 each week is still $15. The money will begin to add up over time. Number seven. Never buy anything on impulse. One of the best ways to help prevent this is to make a shopping list and then stick to it. Number eight, do your research. You should do your research before buying extended warranties on items you buy. These are often a waste of money anyway. Number nine, you should pay attention to mortgage interest rates. Pay attention to mortgage interest rates even after you buy your home or investments. Banks will often drop their fees or lower interest rates if you ask. Number 10, review your credit card statements. You should review them um, regularly for errors and signs of fraud or identity theft. And number 11, pay your bills on time. By doing so, you will avoid spending money on needless late fees. Number 12. Don't expect that past results will always repeat. Never assume that past performance guarantees future results. Number 13. Read all contracts. And make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into before signing anything. Number 14, pay more, much more than the minimum on your credit card bills each month. 
Here's a, here's a fact you need to know. Making the minimum payments each month will ensure that you pay the maximum interest. And that's something you don't want to do. Paying the maximum interest is something you absolutely don't want to do because you'll end up paying a lot more, a lot more than the principal. Number 15, use your credit card if you can pay off debt during a month. Only use that, only use your card to buy things if you can pay them off in full at the end of each month. Number 16, leverage a good debt. Leveraging good debt to purchase appreciating assets like investment grade real estate is a path to a higher income in the future. Number 17, avoid the lottery. You know, lottery is really a tax for people who can't do mass, really. Number 18, avoid smoking. Apart from the obvious health reasons, it is a huge expense that burdens many people. Number 19, um, just ignore the temptation to keep up with the with the with your neighbors, the Joneses. Learn to be happy with what you have. You know, we live in a society where we be, we tend to become very obsessed with the idea of acquiring stuff. We need to learn how to appreciate what we have now. Take a look around you and you'll see that you have a lot to be thankful for. So there is no need to um, keep up with what your neighbors have, what your neighbors is, uh, are wearing, um, what your neighbors are purchasing, their new car. Just honestly, if, you, if you're able to live within your means and don't pay attention to what your neighbors are doing, you'll be... Um, You'll be in better hands. Uh, number twenty. Number twenty. Avoid frugality as a means to achieve prosperity. You know you can only free up so much money by cutting expenses. For example, um, the idea that if you spend a dollar, two dollars at a coffee shop every morning, um, that you for some reason, you're going to end up spending a lot each month. It's just not a good idea. You can you can afford to spend one or two dollars a day buying a coffee. Um, so you don't have to be that frugal. Okay. Number 21, reward yourself. Occasionally, reward yourself by splurging. You can do that, ex um, like I said earlier, you don't have to, um, sometimes you need to spend a little bit. Um, it, it would, it would, you would reward yourself. It would be better for you mentally. It would be better for you, um, you know, to, to keep up with, um, to keep up with your goal, to what you're doing. It, it's, it, it will be better for your mental health. Uh, number 22 is, I think you've heard that so many times is to maintain an emergency fund. Everyone should have between three to six months of living expenses in the bank or in an offset account. Number 23, don't use your emergency fund for non-emergencies. So you need to resist the urge to tap your emergency fund for non-emergencies. Okay. And uh, number 24, create a file for tax deductions get organized using a program such as evernote to keep track of all your tax information it's in one place at tax time okay um, number 25 treat your household like business by taking an active role in managing your personal finances and looking at ways to maximize your income you will ensure that you have a brighter financial future for you and your family. So these are all I have for you today. These are just 25 um, tips you should uh, take into consideration, uh, whether you are re retiring, uh, you're currently retired, or whether you're thinking about retirement. Um, these are very good for you in terms of um, you know keeping your financial life in order. If you like this video, if you like this um, 25 tips, let me know in the comment section. Um, 
also like the video so um, it can help the channel a lot. Like the video and subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts about what you think or the best financial tips for retirees or anyone who's thinking about retiring um, soon. All right, thank you.